Okay. Let's try to to open the other door with a spatula and see what happens. This game should have a good ending, right? Right? Let's find out. The spatula. Yeah, use it. Door to somewhere. Something smells delicious. You can just about see a crumbled piece of paper through the oven door. Pull it out? Yeah, clean it up. Obtain scroll note. There's something on it. One. Okay. Through the dim screen there appears to be some kind of blue squirming mass. You couldn't guess what it is. But it smells fantastic. The door is locked tight but the power is on. The buttons seem to be working fine. Turn on the microwave. Uh, yeah? How long will you cook for? Well, I think it's one minute because the, the because that's what uh, what uh, what is on the paper. But how many seconds? Damn. One hundred choices. Let's go for one minute. It didn't seem to do anything. Well, that's not it. I'm not going to guess. Um, it's been a week since I played this game. Uh, let's see. What do we want to do? We had to get rid of the small key. And since there is another bin in here, and the other bin didn't work, let's try this one. Use the small key in the bin, yeah. There's nothing to unlock here, but you already left the bedroom. You probably don't need this key anymore. Throw the key in the bin, get rid of it. How strange. The moment you place the key in the bin, you lose sight of it completely. Surely it can have gone far. It's still in the bin. The bin is empty. Looks like it needs some serious cleaning though. Wait a second. Let's check the bedroom. Let's check this. The bin is all filled with all kind of rubbish. Most of it looks like junk food, but you can't quite see all the bottom. All the way to the bottom. Rummage through the bin? Yeah. Buried on an eve, the rubbish is a small key. We're not sure how it got there, but it seems different somehow. You're probably just imagining things. Take the key? Hell yeah, obtain small key. Okay. Oh, this was the key for the bedroom, so let's check it. Use the small key in the bedroom door. Yeah. You turn the key in the unlocked door and somehow it keeps turning. After a few more turns, there's a loud click. You unlocked the unlocked door. Okay. The corridor seems to stretch on forever. Okay. Let's take... Let's go left. Hey, there's a door. To the bedroom? No. It's the same corridor. Go the other way. Maybe climb on these chains? No. These seem different. Some heavy chains trail down from the dark sky. You're not sure how far they go up. You give them a hard talk, they seem sturdy. Climb the chains? Uh, up, the, up we go. The corridor seems to stretch on forever. There's something here. Looks like someone left a note on the floor. Pick it up. Pick it up. Obtain scribbled notes. Another one. Let's see. 34. Oh, one minute and 34 seconds. Let's turn on the microwave if we can survive this. We can, right? 
or now we just know that it's 1 minute and 34 seconds. That's also cool. Who knows how long you spend wandering the corridor. Hours? Days? Weeks? This isn't even a room anymore, it's just a roomy coffin. Your death is slow. And worst of all, boring. But don't worry, try again tomorrow. I'm okay with this death. That's no problem. We know... What's this? Yeah. Looks like there's a note in your pocket. You don't remember how it got there. Your head is pounding. Now let's get out of here. Shit. Oh. Okay, go up. Up we go. Uh, let's go the other side. Um. Let's see. Is it the same? It's a scrolled note. One. And the scribbled note. Yeah, this is the same. We don't have other notes. More chains. Uh oh, it's getting dark again. Not good. Uh, can we go the other way? Still getting darker. No. There we go again. A certain death. I think I know what to do. Just use the small key on the door again. Yeah. You turn the key and unlock the door and somehow it keeps turning. After a few more turns, there's a loud click. You unlock the unlock door. Again. And now we are back. Hell yeah. Okay, let's use the microwave. Oh, what's this? Oh. Somebody left a hairbrush on the floor. It's not yours, or at least you don't recognize it. Pick it up. Yoink. A paint hairbrush. Okay. But first, we are going to the microwave. One minute and 34 seconds. Here we go, baby. One minute, 34 seconds. Click. Now what? Mm, the smell is getting stronger. The substance behind the glass is pulsing and dreading violently in the heat. Your mouth won't stop watering. Do I really have to wait 1 minute and 34 seconds? Are you for real, Dev? This is the longest 4 minutes and 34 seconds of my life. Okay. I'll wait. The incredible aroma is making your head spin. Keep waiting. This is really taking forever. You can barely stand the hunger. You need to eat. I can wait. I can cut this out as, as well. Oh man. It's taking way longer than 1 minute and 34 seconds. There we go. Okay. Sounds like you're finished cooking. That was the longest 1 minute and 34 seconds of your life. <laughs> yeah. Okay. The smell coming from the microwave is exquisite. Unlike anything you have ever experienced. You can't stop salvadating. The lamp has stopped moving, mostly. Consume the mass. Bon appetit. Mm. It sounds like an onion. Or an apple. Uh, you've had better. But at least you ate something. Whatever something means. Congratulations. Yeah, that was one of my chores. I forgot. Okay, now brush our hair. I think we are almost done to go outside. Ascend. I hope we can go in the in the bathroom again. Let's see. No. Open it anyway. 
Um, no. Absolutely not. Now what? There's a slight gap where the fitting meets the wall. It looks like something is trapped inside. Wedge awkwardly behind the plug. But you can't reach it. There are two plug sockets in, on the wall. The lamp on the table is plugged into the left socket. But you've turned the power off. Turn the switch back on. Um, pull the plug. You pull with all of your might, but the plug won't budge at all. It's somehow fused into the socket. Hmm. Let's see. Let's put the screwdriver in. Yeah, great idea. It's a good thing you already turned off the power, because sticking metal objects into suck plug sockets isn't usual the brightest idea. He's not doing anything. Hmm, let's put a hairbrush in. Yeah. The hairbrush is too big and awkward to fit inside the small cap. Damn it. The spatula. Yes. You pry the plug socket away from the wall with one quick motion. It snaps off with a flash and a bang. I did this before. It's a good thing you weren't touching it. The burning smell lingers in the air, although it still doesn't cover that weird hallway smell. There's a toothbrush nest inside, wrapped in a cradle of stinking melting, melted plastic. But it's completely clean. Reach for the toothbrush? Yeah, I yank it out. There we go. Now we can go inside again. What was that? Sounds like it came from the bathroom. Yes. Let's do our hair and brush our teeth. The scuttling of the insects on the other side of the door seems quieter now, you think. Open the door? Yeah. Yeah. We've been here. But now we also have a hairbrush. So, make ourselves pretty. You catch sight of your reflection in the mirror. It's not a pretty sight. Your dense mess of hair is getting out of control. You could reach and, and fix it, but you doubt that it will do much good. Brush your hair? Why not? Ooh. That sounds like it hurts. Well, it's certainly a change. You look, look tidier now. At the very least. It's not a huge improvement, but I guess it's better than nothing. Congratulations, you brushed your hair. Came about the face though. What's wrong with the face? Nothing. Okay, let's... Brush our teeth. Yeah. Your mouth is dry and fuzzy. Days of crime cover your teeth and tongue. You should really sort it out. Brush your teeth? Yeah. I think we're done now with all our chores. You do the best you can. Your mouth feels cleaner, but on closer inspection, the rot and decay are so severe it, it could take a lot more work to fix that mouth of yours. Better than nothing, I guess. Congratulations. Am I ready to go out? I ate, I brushed my teeth, I brushed my hair. That's it, right? Oh, wait. Yeah. I need to wash my hands. Yeah, wash it. Wash your face. That's the last thing. Uh oh. Clean or not, you're not great to look at. At least when it was covered in dirt, you had an excuse. Maybe you shouldn't have bothered. But at least you wash your face. Congratulations, I guess. Well, now, would you look at that? Haven't you done well? You're clean, clothed and fed. Ready to get some lovely fresh air. Yeah. There's nothing stopping you now. No more excuses. It's time to head outside. Oh yeah. Who'd thought that? We are going outside in this game.
I don't think we are going to survive though. But but we'll see. Spatula on the door. Yes. The story tool, you might be able to scrape through the wall. You should be getting outside soon. Although it's already late. You've been up and about for a while now. And what a stressful day. It's a pretty flimsy spatula, come to think of it. You probably shouldn't bother. I give it a shot. Fine. But you're wasting your time. I don't think I am. I'm ready to go outside now. I really am. I did all my chores. Yeah. After a lot of work, you finally managed to scrape away the last of the strange world material. Underneath is your front door. Looking at it makes your head hurt. After all that effort, you're quite exhausted. Maybe you should take a rest. Watch some television. Or have a nice sit down. You can always head outside later. No, 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 no. This time, we are really going outside. The wallpaper is gone, but the door is still locked. Oh well. We shouldn't turn back. Well, we still have our front door key. Yeah. Your heart is racing, you feel dizzy. Maybe this isn't such a great idea. You're trying to remember why you ever wanted to leave, and frankly, you can't think of a reason. Is this ending even other than the other ending? You should stay inside. No, I need to leave. Really? You slide the key into the lock and turn it with a click. Your head hurts. But the door is unlocked. You don't want to go outside. You want to stay here. <laughs> well, the door is unlocked. Looks like it's time to for some lovely fresh air. Yeah. Please? May I go? You know, it certainly is cozy in here. Why would you ever go outside anyway? Because that's the purpose of the game, right? Really? Yeah. You prog programmed it uh, like this. So yeah. You still want to go outside? I need to get out. I'm clean. I'm ready. Look. You don't know what you're thinking. Clearly you're confused. It has been an awfully difficult day. You need rest. You need a lie down. Don't go outside. Maybe try again tomorrow. Well, you're feeling better. Hmm. Let me out. Wait. Please. Just think about this. You can't leave. You're not ready to leave. Well, I am ready to leave. I did everything I needed to do. You have nothing. You are nothing. There's nothing for you out there. This is your home. It's where you belong. No, no. It's time to leave. Or should I try again tomorrow? I'm going to try again tomorrow. You belong inside. Okay. Well, that's not giving me another ending, so I have to go outside. Really? It's time to leave. Stop. You know what? You do you've done so well. You really made an effort. Had some food, put on some clothes, cleaned yourself up. Today was a good day. You deserve something special. You deserve a good ending. Yeah! Don't go outside. Head back upstairs and go to bed. That's where the secret ending is. The real ending. The happy ending. Is it? Let's see. Let's check it out. I don't trust him. Is the happy ending here? Let's find out. Your bedroom. You feel safe here. Oh. Oh, he tricked me. He tricked me. I, uh, oh, he didn't trick me. This looks cozy. Let's head in. Your bed. It's never looked so soft. So warm. You earn the rest. Go to sleep? Yeah, let's end this.
This looks like a good ending. Congratulations. You did it. You won. You finally got some fresh air. <laughs> ah, how peaceful. No more fear. No more stress. No more pain. You're finally free. Well done. Oh, I skipped a sentence. Don't think about tomorrow. Just enjoy the moment. Well, that was a great game. Seal O'Sullivan. Remember that name. He's a great developer. Don't forget to like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next video. Have a great day and stay inside. Bye bye.